What's going on, everybody? James Paul Shepard with Filmcore Digital, and today we're going to be playing with the planar tracker. Let's get into it. All right, now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, we've got our footage selected. We're going to head over to Fusion. Now, this first one, what we're going to do is we're going to add some graffiti to this shack right here with the planar tracker. So you're going to shift space, add planar tracker. With that selected, we're going to box off where we want the image to go. We're going to head over to the inspector. We're going to hit set and we're going to track forward. Now with that tracked, we're going to change the operation mode to corner pin. We're going to bring our image in. We're going to connect it to the planar tracker. And then you're just going to grab the corners and add that where you want it to go. Right there looks good. And that's tracked on there. If you want to add another image, you just select your media again, shift space, add another planar tracker, select where you want it to go. Come on over here and hit set, track forward. Now with your image, if you didn't track, if you see here, I tracked at frame 68. You want to track backward, you can hit the go and it goes back to the frame that you started at. So hit go and then track backwards. Now with that tracked, bring in your media, connect it. Make sure that the tracker is set to corner pin. And then we'll just move this over here to fit the image. And we're good. Now with the other one selected, we're going to head over to Fusion. Now that we're in Fusion, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add our planar tracker. We're going to zoom in a little bit. We're going to outline this. We're going to head over here and hit set, track forward, hit go to go back to the start point, and track in reverse. Now that we have that tracked, what you want to do is you want to change the track mode or the operation mode from track to steady. Now what this does, it's going to keep the sign in the exact same position through the whole thing. And you see the outline, you see the footage correcting for that, and we're going to fix that in a second. So we're gonna zoom back in here. We're gonna come over here and grab a background and a paint tool. You wanna to merge the paint into the planar tracker. Select the background. We're gonna lower the alpha all the way down. Now back on the paint node, you wanna make sure that you have stroke selected. If you don't have that selected and you start painting, it's only gonna paint for one frame. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to change this here so to change your brush size shortcut is to hold control and then left click and drag. And then to select a color, you want to hold alt and then left click. But you can do that all over here in the inspector. So I'm just going to brush this off real quick. You can spend more time selecting the colors and making sure that it matches. I'm just going to quickly do this. We're going to bring the brush up a little bit. All right, with that done, now what you wanna do is we're gonna bring in a text node and we're gonna merge that in with the merge. And then on the text node, we're just gonna put follow film core. And bring that size down and bring that over to fit. So now to correct this uh, footage, you want to select your planar tracker copy it, paste it over here, and we're gonna drop it right in between the merge and the media out. Now, if that's selected, you want to come over here and select invert the steady transform. You can do this with removing objects and uh, tattoos. If you have a logo you need to take from a shirt or something, you can use this technique right here. Now, the last one we're gonna do is adding a, a video over so you're going to do the same thing. We're going to go over to Fusion. 
Right now, we're going to give a shout out to our Patreon members who support this channel each month. And those are Dylan Painter, Dustin Clark, Carl Robbins, Little Thrusty, Bobby Sarah Venera, Angela Marie, Danny Galwin, Vicky and David Ingblom, and Leslie Murphy. Appreciate all the support that you guys give to Filmcore Digital. And if you would like to be a Filmcore Digital Patreon member, link in the description. Check it out. We have three tiers to choose from. Let's get back to this tutorial. And inside Fusion, we're going to shift space, bring up the planar tracker. We're going to zoom in. We are going to add our points. And then we are going to go over to set. We're going to change this to hybrid point and area. And then we're going to track forward. And then we're going to hit go. And we're going to track in reverse. So now with that tracked, we're going to change this to corner pin. We're going to grab the video that we want to put in there. This is the same thing that you would do for replacing a television screen with your footage, smartphone, billboard, or something that you want to put a video on. If you want to see a more in-depth tutorial on how to replace your screen, computer, cell phone, or TV, let me know in the comments. We're just going to clean this up a little bit, make it closer because i think those are little little lights that flash there so we're just going to bring this up a little bit and there we go and that's a quick tutorial on how to use the planar track it's an awesome tool to use and i've been messing around more with it so i thought i'd show you all what it can do i highly recommend going in and messing around with it yourself if you like this video hit that thumbs up consider subscribing and remember keep creating